My name is Catalin. I'm the owner of Pow Gym. We're going to do a workout for those of you who have a resistible or a Swiss ball. So, first of all, you want to make sure that when you roll down that the lower portion of your back is supported, starting with some basic, simple crunches. We're going to go 20. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Excellent. One of my favorite is this tiny little side crunch. So I go from my hips being square to a side crunch position here, angling and driving my inside hip down. I usually put my one hand here. We're going to go 20. As I come up, I'm bringing my elbow to my hip. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're going to superset that back with a basic crunch through the center. So our hands are going to be behind our head, supporting our neck. Our chin's going to drive up to the ceiling. And 20 reps. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I don't turn my back to you. I'm just going to reposition. So I'm going to angle my other side and hip down into the ball. Hand behind my head. Make sure your feet are firm. You can always slide your feet up against something like your wall or your sofa. And one, two, three, four, elbow to hip, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right. We're just going to position ourselves here and take a breath. So another good exercise to use for the ball is some hip bridges. Uh, we're going to roll the ball out just a little bit further and make sure that our head, neck, and upper back are supported. Toes forward, thighs are going to be parallel to each other. You can just bring your hands wherever it's comfortable. You're going to lower the hips and bridge up. So as I lower down, I don't want to create an over arch. I just want to keep my pelvis in a neutral position. And then as I bridge my hips up, I'm driving my hips to the ceiling. But you want to feel your activating from the hamstrings and the glutes. We're going to do 10 of those. Ready? Down, up, down, up. And three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're just going to bring our feet a little bit closer and we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to lift our heels off the ground and do ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, take a breath. We're going to go back to an ab set. Okay, guys, so we're going to go back to another ab exercise. It's actually one of my favorites. I call it an around the world crunch. So 
my hands are behind my head. I keep my pelvis in a neutral position, and I'm going to circle all the way around. And then I come back and circle in the other direction. I think of my nose basically having a paintbrush on it, and I'm drawing a circle in one direction, and then I paint the circle back the other way. We're going to do a set of 10. One, back to the center. Two, back to the center. Three, four, make sure you're not yanking on your neck. Five, if you're properly supporting your head, you should feel no tension in your trap or neck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, come and sit behind your Swiss ball, and we're going to change our body position on the ball. We're essentially going to put our torso, we're going to separate our legs a little bit wider, make sure the balls of the feet are in contact with the ground, or once again, you can block your feet from sliding because you're using a wall or a piece of furniture. I want to still activate my glutes in this position, but I'm not overactivating them to a point where I'm overarching in my neutral position. We're going to start basically with this position like a, um, a rear delt fly. I am going to hold and now activate and bring my arms out to the side and I'm going to pulse the backs of my hand up towards the ceiling. As I do this, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, but I'm doing it without creating tension in my trap or my neck. My arms are directly out to the side. So what I don't want is them to be behind you. Bring them out to the side. Just keep going. Don't worry about the number of reps you're doing right now. But this is great for posture. And when you're done, just release and rest. The second movement I would like to show you in this position, it's also for the upper back and helps with posture. So I do recommend it, even if you're very focused on abs right now is going to be extension overhead. So we can do a couple things. We're going to go into this position and we're going to activate the glutes. So our pelvis is actually driving forward on the ball. And we're going to go uh, into an extension overhead. As I do this, my thumbs are going to lift my arms up. Think of my thumbs lifting and lengthening my arms. So I don't want to bend at my elbows. The action is coming off the shoulder joint. If you need a regression, and that is too hard for you, or your shoulders are so tight and stiff, single arms are totally acceptable, one arm at a time. But just continue doing this. Once again, don't worry about counting reps. Lengthen the neck. Uh, don't look at the screen right now. Just try to listen. As I lengthen, I'm not lifting my shoulders. So I want to keep a lot of space between my shoulders and my ears. Let's do about five more, and then we'll rest. Three, two, one. Great. All right, take a breather. Shake your shoulders up. Okay, so some of the more challenging stuff that you can do with a resistor ball or Swiss ball is going into a plank position. So you would put your feet up on the ball and walk yourself out into a plank. So that I can stay on screen, I'm going to back myself up a little bit. So things to think about. First, I'm going to show you how to get into the position. I'm going to roll out. And if my knees are on the ball, it's going to be less challenging. You can continue rolling out. I'm going to actually take the ball back. If my feet are on the ball, it's going to be more challenging. And that's because more of my body weight is on my upper body and I'm having to support myself. So if you want a variation on just simply holding plate, this alone is a nice chance. So just hang out here and hold this position. Go ahead, bring your legs down and rest. You 
you can bring the ball around in front of you and feel free to stretch and lengthen the arms, sitting your hips back. We're gonna get into that position again. Okay, so we're gonna resume rolling out into a plank with our feet up on the ball. I'm gonna show you what I want us to do first, okay? Let me show you how I get out there. We're gonna roll out. This one's a little bit more challenging. Okay? I'm gonna bring the ball back where the top of my feet and my ankles are actually on the top of the ball. I'm gonna tuck and roll my knees to my chest, rounding and dropping my hips towards my heel, and then extend all the way back. Go ahead and get into that position. Remember to keep your shoulders on top of your hips. Go ahead and get into that position. Remember to keep your shoulders on top of your wrists. We're going to tuck the knees to the chest and then extend the legs. Rolling ourselves into a little ball. We're going to do 10. Don't look at the screen, just listen to the count. Ready? One. Extend back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, we're gonna roll or step down off the ball. Take a deep breath. Make sure you roll your hands around and then we're gonna do another set. All right, so just to review, I'm gonna roll myself out into my plank. For me, I'm gonna adjust so I stay within the screen. And we're going to do 10. Ready? Begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on off the ball any way you like. Put the ball in front of you. Have a seat, roll your hands and wrists around. If you are fatiguing, feel free to go halfway out. So you can do this by just extending the body halfway out so you are shorter lever. Number two, don't have to tuck and round so much as the first example I gave you. Third and final step, okay? Walk yourself out. Slide the ball into a good position. Make sure your plank is rock solid. You have space between your fingers. And ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Step off. Excellent. <laughs> Let yourself take a deep breath. We're going to have a seat on the ball. Just breathe for a moment. One of my favorite stretches after doing ab exercises is a supportive kind of back bend. So I'll roll myself all the way down and I just kind of touch the ground and then I lengthen over the ball. I breathe through my nose when I do this. And if you don't want to rock back and forth and you feel like just hanging out in that back bend, go ahead. For those of you who have neck problems, put your hands on your head and support yourself as you come up. You guys, I hope that that was helpful. And uh, little tiny workouts like this throughout the day, uh, maybe one 10 minute, 20 minute workout in the morning and something else in the evening is definitely going to keep you in shape. Thanks, guys.